this. Pretty much what this means is for season four, we're going to be adding one new member and it can be any of you guys. It can be a channel with zero subs. It can be up to like, uh, who knows how many subs, but what I'd like to say before I get my Nope. Actually, that's a good idea. What is UHC? UHC. By literal means, it is ultra hardcore. But by other players, it means a lot more than that. I have seen the best people fight. They don't think the simple way. And neither do I. However, if I want to be like them, I need to practice. Practice. That is not a word I have heard in a long time. I think more people today need to hear it. This means Going back to the basics of the game, Minecraft. Re-exploring what has been done in your first days. Understanding that your progress has been made from this. And while you re-experience it, you might discover new stuff that you haven't discovered or have never thought of. But one thing still remains the same. The goals that you need to achieve to get to where you are. However, since you know what those are, achieving them would be much easier than before. It is up to you how you want to go on achieving them another time. But the whole purpose of Minecraft is to explore. Exploring is vital to playing Minecraft. You would not be able to see everything that there is to see without it. But always be aware that while you want to re-explore, You have to catch up on what you need. Sometimes you may question some of the choices you make. that makes UHC unique is the fact that you cannot heal without your golden apple. However, in the 
damage you do take can be healed off, assuming that you get enough gold and enough apples. However, that requires luck and skill. Do you have what it takes to beat the odds? Go further than just healing damage, or reducing damage, and becoming more powerful, and sometimes magical. Of course, it's not easy to get some of these materials, but if you can get around it, then you're set. Just remember that you always gotta know what you're doing before you do it, otherwise you could mess it up and you may have to start it over. And that's what makes Great C so interesting. You can mess up at any moment. is important. You cannot settle for what you have collected. You have to make them better. Because if you don't, you are preparing to lose. You have to step up your game every time, every minute. But while you're doing it, Understand that you may discover something that you didn't think was possible or useful. Sometimes getting the upper hand in a UHC is a great risk. It's either worth going for or it's not. The Nether is a great example of this. The risk taking lots of damage for getting either nothing or incredibly useful stuff. And the fact that you could get lost and you cannot put yourself off if you caught on fire. It's a great idea for those who want to win. Assuming that they let you travel there. But once you've gotten everything you need, make sure you know how to use them set enough for success. If you don't, you're setting yourself up to fail. Remember that while you're getting your stuff and getting stronger, so are your opponents. You have to make sure you keep up with them. Otherwise, you won't have a good time. Understand what you're doing. Because, remember, if you fail to prepare, you are preparing to fail. But there is one aspect of UHC that is the most important aspect. Fighting. Episode 4, the boring episodes are done, and the action begins. Even with all this, it's still important to get better and practice some more, because practice makes perfect, and victories. But while doing it over, try something new, try something you thought was impossible, and maybe lucky and get what you want, no matter how laggy it is. But even remember, if you mess up, you can't just say that if you get lucky, then it doesn't matter. You always have to keep improving. And keep an eye out on what you really want. Because if you miss it, it could cost you a match. Understand that if you can find what you need, then you're prepared. And sometimes, even making the most weirdest choices ever, you can still get to victory. If you know what you're doing. Because
this. Your opponents will not expect it. And use it correctly. Because if you don't, you've just wasted a lot of materials and important resources. Minecraft is also all about challenge. It's important that you know how to conquer these challenges because it makes you a better player and better at UHC. But for every challenge you meet, there is always another one that is much harder much higher grasp and more rewarding because if you can get through that then you know you can beat the others the others won't want to mess with you What makes UHC so interesting is that you are playing on a different world every time. Unfortunately, the things that you have gathered in one game don't last forever and all that progress you have built up has to go, but in order to win, you still have to use it. But please pay attention to the surroundings as you may find something really interesting or cool or dangerous. Unfortunately, it's not all games are good, and you may just find yourself having a bad time or a bad day. But even in the worst situations, it's best to remain calm, and still try to think that you can win. gotta be careful. Sometimes being too calm can actually hurt you worse than if you freak out about something. If it seems too easy, you are doing it wrong. However, if it seems too hard, you are also doing it wrong. You need to find a way to beat the game in a way that's not too easy or not too hard. But at the same time, sometimes you may find the weirdest things in your Minecraft world to use from. It can be easy or hard. And sometimes your experiences in the game would be so bizarre, it would have to be seen to be believed. Whether these are good, bad, or no effect to the game can be the fate between a win and a loss. And sometimes, if you get really lucky, you can celebrate about it. However, you have to keep quiet because you do not want other opponents to know of how, how much stuff you have. Even if you brag about something, you shouldn't, because whatever you brag on still has to be improved. Otherwise, if you stick with what you have for too long, your opponents will get stronger than you, and then you will lose really easily. Now even if something seems impossible, sometimes you have to do the impossible to win. Whether or not people like it or not, because if you can do it right, and winning becomes that much easier. And it's something to always feel good about.
UHC is all about thinking quick. Not thinking quick can make you lose before you even know it. So it's always a great idea to keep on the lookout and be alert. Even though how shocking it is. And although you may feel bad, it's important that you always keep your mindset to focusing on winning. There are challenges that exist throughout the Minecraft world, such as generated structures. However, you may not want to take them because they might either be too hard or not worth it. But the challenge is always there. And those who don't hold up to it, lose. The point of UHC is not to lose, but sometimes the challenges are too much. And now it's episode 6, the last episode before you had to meet up in a place known as Zero Zero. You have to start walking there and you'll start seeing signs of life. But there's a thing with Zero Zero. Zero Zero is an obscure place. It seems if this area was meant for a final fight. Tall grass and mushrooms and flowers do not grow. All trees and giant flowers are cut off. All structures are cut off, unless if they're outside it. No animals are found. All the caves underground have no mushrooms. And even the clouds, as innocent as they are, seem to stop too. And after a while, bedrock encases the area. It is a very mysterious sight that marks the end. Anyone who isn't up for the challenge or going to zero zero or just has a bad time or luck also loses. But it's important because you are now out of time to prepare and now you have to finish it off. This is it. The game dynamic shifts. Instead of being free to roam around, you now have to go to a certain spot. Zero, zero. They tell you where it is and how to get there. And that's it. All that you've been building up for, preparing for, now leads to this final moment where you must fight it out. If you lose, everything to this point has just been for that. If you win, you can save the memory in your personal record books of glory. My last words of advice. Stay alert. Be careful. Never give up. Endure. Don't lose your mind. And good luck. Someday, your victory will 